Hey YouTube, what's happening? Chris Wojcicki here. Right now we have the new era NNL qualifier. Drew Dreschel put together an unbelievable course. Let's check out what obstacles he had. So obstacle one was the Deca Steps. This was an amazing obstacle. It was super parkour-y. Uh, having the poles there with the curtains, a uh, really fun variation. After that was the Dice Drop. It was kind of like a take on the Hourglass Drop with that open face trampoline, uh, except a little bit easier because you're going dice to dice. Next was a pretty tough balance obstacle. Domino Hill took out some pretty big names during the comp. Uh, definitely a tricky one. After that was an oddly named uh, ring obstacle called Ringworm. Uh, definitely not my favorite obstacle name this season so far. After Ringworm, competitors would have to take on the spinning peg bomb, traversing all the way to the end before getting the, to the platform right before the salmon ladder. Competitors would then stand on the pegs and then go directly into the cross down salmon ladder. Um, as simple as it sounds, competitor would cross over and then drop down a single rung on the salmon ladder. After that, competitors would do this slightly awkward dismount to the steps uh, and then going right from the steps, uh, awkward run up into this footsie roll, um, uh, kind of an odd balance obstacle. Speaking of odd obstacles, uh, this next obstacle, uh, it, it seems like a regular pipe slider, uh, but based off the video footage, it's kind of hard to tell what exactly is uh, going down. Uh, but it looks like uh, the athlete had to kind of shift it to the side um, to kind of clear the pipe past like other pipes. Um, I think that's why uh, it's taken uh, Judas so long. Definitely a, uh, a strange obstacle, um, but seems very grip intensive, like you're going to get pumped out. Uh, while you're maneuvering relatively slowly through that portion of the course. The second to last obstacle was the three ball wall run. Uh, this athlete on the course is actually Judas Licadero. He is the first place finisher um, from the event. We didn't have a full um, video preview, uh, so I've been using his to kind of show you guys the course. Um, so I'm not gonna show him later, uh, but Judas uh, basically crushed the course. He was the only athlete to get this far. Uh, the final obstacle was the warp wall. Judas ended up timing out here. But a great run overall on a really tough course. Jumping back to third place from the men's division, Lucas Real looked really comfortable on some of the tricky obstacles. However, he was unable to complete the stair slider. Coming in second place, Ernest Phillips was able to make it through the stair slider. However, his time was running out as he cleared the three ball wall. Uh, and then he ended up timing out uh, on the warp wall at the very last second. Jumping over to the women's side of the action, Mia had a great run early on, however she took a little bit too much time on the first couple of obstacles and she actually ended up timing out on the cross down salmon ladder. Her run was good enough to secure her third place. Coming in second place was Alyssa Beard. This actually ended her streak of first place finishes in various NNL comps. She looked great early on, however when she got to the balance obstacle just a slight misstep with her foot caused her to go out. Coming in first place overall for the females was Olivia Vivian. She came all the way from Australia and she is an athlete on the Wolfpack Pro Ninja Tour. Uh, I was really impressed by her here. She was able to get through the uh, up, down, or across, over, down salmon ladder uh, 30 seconds faster than Alyssa. So a really impressive run by the uh, Wolfpack Tour Pro athlete. Great job, Olivia. So that does it for our recap video from New Air, a great course put together by Drew Dreschel. We have a couple of uh, events coming down the pipeline, so hopefully we'll have more recap videos for you this week. I'm Chris Wachowski, and I'll see you guys next time.